Hello guys, this video is about my first ever 24 hours hackathon experience. I am going to discuss about my own experience and how you can participate and win in hackathons. And there is an amazing opportunity for you at the end of this video. So make sure to watch this video till the end. In case if you don't know what a hackathon is, it's just a long contest where you will be given a problem statement and you need to build a product or provide a solution to the problem. It might be a software solution or a hardware solution or any solution depending on the hackathon. Hackathons are by far the best way to speed up your learning progress, improve your skills and network with like-minded people. If you haven't participated in any hackathons yet, then you are missing the essence of life. Let's come back to my story. Almost a year ago, on June 2022, I was scrolling to YouTube and a video popped up on my feed. It was from Hitesh and the title intrigued me to click on that video. It was a hackathon organized by iNeuron in partnership with GitHub and I, along with one of my friends, decided to participate in the hackathon, mainly for three reasons. Number one, it was an offline hackathon where we need to code all night. That's something I was craving to experience. Two, the prizes were amazing. The winner would get a whopping 2 lakh rupees. Second prize is 1 lakh rupees. And third prize is 50,000 rupees. Number three, there was no entry fee and they will be providing free snacks and food and free goodies as well. In addition to that, there will be people coming from all over India. It was a great opportunity to network with like-minded people. Plus, you will also get job opportunities. And that's something hard to resist. Finally, we boarded a train to Bangalore. But I couldn't sleep properly that night because it was freezingly cold and I was anxious about visiting a new place. We reached the venue around 7 in the morning, had our breakfast and got inside by 8 am. We had no idea about winning. In fact, I was constantly telling my friend that we are here to experience something new and we are definitely not gonna win. So stay strong. The hackathon was started around 11 am and the problem statement we took was under full stack development where we have to build a food dining app. We spent the first few hours just for planning. While we are planning, we are constantly served with snacks and drinks. To be more specific, it was Lay's, Good Day, Sprite and Red Bull. In between, they had organized so many games and quizzes to keep us entertained. We also got the opportunity to interact with Hitesh Choudhury, Naveen Reddy, Chris Naik and much more. Everything was going smooth. We were experiencing something priceless and the clock strikes 2am. They brought us pizzas. I took a slice of it while still working on my laptop. Little did I know was that one bite is going to turn everything upside down. In few minutes, my stomach got upset. Everything I ate that day got mixed up. The air conditioning triggered it even more. So I decided to take a nap. Around 4 am in the morning, the pain has already crossed the American border. Everything went out of control. So I decided to take a walk. I left the office and started roaming on the roads. My tensile strength was already broken. I was constantly consoling myself with the magical words. Elam and make it. Elam and make it. Elam and make Around 9 am, I was back at the office. In two hours, the hackathon was about to end. We didn't even touch the back end part yet. We had absolutely zero chance of winning. They gave us a link to submit our app along with our demo. Initially, we were reluctant to submit our app since we couldn't complete it. But to be honest, our user interface was pretty good. So we decided to give it a shot and finally we submitted our app. I skipped my breakfast and took a walk again. We are 700% sure that we are not gonna win. But we have to stay in the office till evening because the written bus we had booked is departing around 9 pm. I came back and took a nap. I was exhausted. I woke up around 1 pm just to see them serving pizzas for lunch. I was like, <laughs> Then I left the office to have my lunch outside, which was again the worst lunch of my life. 
I came back to office and started chatting and networking with people. In couple of hours, we arrived at the final phase of the hackathon, the prize distribution. They made an announcement that they will be calling around the top 10 teams to present their demo and out of which three people will be awarded with exciting prizes. They asked every team to get ready with their demo. Everyone was sitting there with their laptops open. But we intentionally packed up everything, kept our laptops inside and were just staring at the speaker. I was just telling to my friend that there is not even a slightest possibility that we would be even on top 50 teams. So we were all set to catch our bus. And what happened next was nothing but a miracle. We were the first team to be called up on the stage. And here is a short clip, the precious moment captured on the camera. Ah, the first team, three guys are here. We were in complete shock. Then we took our laptops to present our demo. The speaker was like, I told you to be ready with your laptops, right? Then we went up on stage and presented our demo and came back to our place. But still, we were in shock. We couldn't comprehend what just happened. Then I was telling to my friend again, See, what just happened was already a miracle. And it's impossible for two miracles to happen in a row. In case if they called us again, then it definitely has to be a prank show and we are being pranked. So let's forget everything just happened and back again. We have a bus to catch. And we were sitting there waiting for another miracle to happen. And in few minutes, everything was over. We were not called up on stage. We were like, Yeah, they had us the first half, I'm not gonna lie. Then we boarded our bus and left the city. Wait a minute, it's not over yet. It's just an intermission. In the end, heroes will have to win, right? Oh! In two days, another video popped up on my feed. It's the Hackathon 2.0. Again by iNeuron in collaboration with JetBrains. The chief guest was Hari Sangaran, the CTO and co-founder of Hackerang. It was an app development hackathon where we need to develop apps with Kotlin. What happened previous week had already boosted our confidence to the moon. This time, we are super confident that we are going to win. So this was our plan. We were doing an internship at Chennai. By Friday night, we shall board a bus from Chennai to Bangalore. Then collect our prices and board a bus by Sunday night. Then we reach our college by Monday morning around 7 am. We have our semester practicals by 9 am. I need to complete my record note in a span of 2 hours which I haven't even started yet. Get sign on it and ace the exams without even studying a single word. Alright, let's do this one last time. We reached Bangalore around 7 am. We were waiting for a bus and that's when something interesting happened. Two IIT students reached out to us. They had come for the hackathon as well. For the next few minutes, me and my friends were discussing about how we have got a heavy competition. But after a few seconds, we were like, Ta, then we reached out to their office. In few minutes, the hackathon started. Once we decided the problem statement, we hardly spent 10 minutes for planning and started building our apps. I decided to sit outside and code, since I was not comfortable with the air conditioning and strictly no pizzas this time. And for the next 24 hours, we were just sitting there coding in our laptops like psychos. I took a 20 minute snap around 6.30 am the next day and that was it. And that too after completing our app. For the next few hours, we were working on improving the UI and preparing our demo. After submitting our apps, we took a nap again. Now we have arrived at the most awaited climax, the price distribution. They had chosen 8 teams and were calling up each team on stage from 8th place to 1st place. As they call each team, my anxiety was increasing exponentially to the point where I can even hear my heartbeats. After 5 teams, they were about to announce the third prize winner. And here is another short clip for you. So let's go with the third winner everyone. The team is Free Guys. I could see them yesterday, they were sitting completely outside. Finally, all the hard work pays off 
Honestly, we were sad because our name was called up too soon. But still, it was a goosebumps moment. Believe me, it was a whole new experience. And I cherished each moment of the hackathon. It was an amazing experience coding all night, making friends, and of course, free food. This is something you must experience. And for the people wondering about my semester practicals, don't worry, I got an A+. And also, we got some free goodies. Let me show you. This one we got from our first hackathon and it was for all participants. And this one is a JetBrains T-Set exclusively for winners. If you are planning to attend hackathons in the future, which I suggest you must try, just keep these two advice in mind. Number one, don't underestimate the time. Time management is very much important. The entire hackathon will be over in split seconds before even you realize. So plan accordingly. And number two, Focus on the UI part and try to complete the app at least with the basic requirements. As long as you have a working demo, there is a pretty good chance that you might win a prize. And wait, this video isn't over yet. If you are a college student, then there is an amazing opportunity for you. Flipkart is organizing a hackathon called Flipkart Grid 5.0. It is being held in different tracks such as software development, information security, and robotics. You can get an internship at Flipkart with a stipend of 1 lakh per month and full-time job offers up to 32 LPA. So don't miss out this opportunity. I have given the registration link in my description and in the first comment as well. Do check it out. And share this video with your friends who would be excited about this opportunity. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.